Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to another middle of the night pouring session. Um, I've had an idea and we just finished with the last pour we did was Kitsune, which was that beautiful wandering ring pour that we used the pearl yellow in. And I've had an idea about another color palette that I'm really excited about. So that's what we're gonna play with tonight. We're gonna do another wandering ring pour. We're using a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas tonight. And uh, I'm really excited about this palette. The first one that we're using is Golden's Payne's Gray absolutely delicious and this dries so dark but it's not black and it actually has a little bit more color and pigment to it than the black so that's our Payne's gray that's also going to be our base coat color and then I am using this one which is Golden's graphite gray and in a moment of sheer silliness and why the hell not uh, this is deco art craft twinkles that I have thrown in there as well. <laughs> Figuring it'll give us a little bit of shimmer, but this is the graphite. So I have those two darker colors, and then what I'm going to pair them with is that beautiful Amsterdam pearl yellow that I was so happy with in Kitsune. And it dries this very, very pretty light gold. I don't know if you can see it shimmering right on there. Can you, HOA? Mm, not really. Yeah, it's really pretty though. So that's the pearl yellow from Amsterdam that we're going to be using as our pop color, our contrast color. My pouring medium tonight is Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss mixed with Floetrol. And then I have added water. And then I add my paint and then add a little bit more Floetrol. And there we go. So that's the pearl yellow from Amsterdam. And then last but not least, I have a little bit of Naples yellow from Amsterdam also. This was also from Kitsune. This is a little bit of leftovers. So we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using this beautiful split cup from Tracy Reed and her lovely husband. We put my name on this one. This is a 22 ounce split cup. You can find them at acrylicpouringtools.com. This one's awesome. It has a handle, has that lovely pointy spout. So what I wanna do, I want to use that pearl yellow in the center chamber first. All right, and now what I wanna do on either side, on this side, I wanna put the Payne's Gray in the other outer chamber. And remember the outer chambers are the ones that are gonna show up a little bit more prominently. So by using the same color as our base coat, it's gonna help everything else look like it's sort of floating and popping. And then on the other, actually I am gonna move it out of the way. On the other chamber, on the outside, we're gonna use the graphite. And then in our middle two chambers, we're going to layer, this is some more pearl yellow, the pearl yellow and the Naples yellow uh, on top of each other. So, as I do want yellow in there, but I don't want it to be really, really in your face. So, and by using the pearl white or the pearl yellow in there, it's gonna give it a little bit, soften it a little bit up. Okay, and make it, now the Naples yellow, just a layer. And one on this side too. And now I'm gonna go in with another layer of the pearl yellow. So we sandwich that yellow in the middle, the Naples. Okay. Bring this over. Okay. And then this is my base coat, which is the same stuff as what's in there. In those cups, this is the Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss with Floetrol and water. And it's pretty much the same consistency as that. All right, I'm gonna lay down kind of, I guess kind of a runway. Just to give ourselves something to pour onto. Let the paint really easy. Alright, 
So I'm going to start like over here each way and we're going to kind of move around with some nice pretty rings, hopefully. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, Miller. Semper Paredes. <laughs> here we go. this whole section that's awesome this is, it's all really pretty okay I'm gonna put a little bit more of our flow extender base coat color in the corners slide really easy <laughs> Let's give this a torch. like most going on in here I love these lines here especially right in here I mean the whole thing is really pretty I actually really like that little bit of yellow that's coming through there and the contrast between the Payne's gray and that graphite and the white and then this yellow in here is really really cool and I love that all of this is pearl yellow as it dries it's gonna be really really pretty so let's tilt this out and kind of see where the weight of the paint wants to go This way, I took this down to the corner over there. Space or no negative space, do you think? Paint will tell you, yeah. No, I tell the paint. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs>
We might lose some of what's down there, but that's okay. Two-thirds, one-third. Are you getting waves? Something just landed in my thing. Mm -hmm. Bug uh, I see wings, so yeah, I think so. Favorite waves? Kind of yellow? So please make sure you check out our Fluid Art Boutique collaboration coming up on March 10th with uh, all the artists that are teaching at Fluid Art Boutique. Sarah Mack, Karen Dershin, myself, um, Amanda Edwards, and uh, JMO Painting. Johnny will be there. So I'm going to do quick premieres for you guys back to back. March 10th on a Friday. I'll let you guys know what time. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So this was cool. I will show you when it's dry. Thanks for being here with us tonight. H O A, would you do your thing? I'll do my thing.
Let's go look at our dried results. I have it propped up on the table over here. Whew. So, this is our 15 by 30 wandering ring pour with the Payne's Gray base and the graphite and our pearl yellow from Amsterdam, which looks very gold. <laughs> It's a very, very pretty color. It's actually a really pale, pale gold, but it's very shimmery. I like these lines a lot. There's the graphite down there at the bottom. I like the negative space. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I'm getting like waves vibes from this and uh, I like it. I do want to play with this a little bit more because I think what I had in my head is different than what I layered my cup for. So I might try this one one more time. But thanks for being here with us today. Please make sure you check out on Friday. We're having a Fluid Art Boutique collaboration with all the artists participating in Fluid Art Boutique. It's going to be a lot of fun. Amanda from Crystal Coast at Originals and Johnny from JMO Painting and Karen Dershan and Sarah Mack and myself. So I'll let you know exactly what time that's going to happen on Friday, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for being here, everybody. Bye-bye.